Good morning everyone. Uh, this is my research entitled Against the Plastic Sachet Crisis, Design and Fabrication of a Shampoo Handling Machine. So chapter 1. So plastic inherently is a very useful material. So it is almost used in every devices, in, every, in furniture, a lot of um, products also uses plastic so we see it every in every corner probably of our eyes so plastic in a, in a, in and of itself is a very useful but considering we use a lot of it and that it stays for a while so it produces pollution so plastics produced and dumped amount to 12.7 million tons and in the Philippines alone there are about 164 million sachets used per day and about that market share from sachet products also are around 50 percent which evidently uh, big corporations like Unilever and PNG still patronize the use of plastics so in this studies foundation uh, we try to innovate a solution by exploring uh, the design and fabrication of a vending machine that uh, vends out shampoo. So with this uh, machine, we try to test its parameters in order to identify if this machine is really reliable enough for this duty. So for the uh, conceptual framework, uh, it begins with the monetary identification which will be processed by the microcontroller which generates the amount of time for the peristaltic pump to be activated and then deactivated. So simultaneously, onboard sensor readings will be done that will be sent using a GPRS uh, protocol. These data will be sent to a Firebase real-time database, which will serve as a server for a monitoring application that will be developed using Codular Developer. For the statement of the problem, so number one, how precise is the volume of shampoo that the peristaltic pump can dispense in relation to its on time duration? And also, how accurate is the coin selector in classifying different types of coins? So, and also, uh, what are the tolerances of the onboard measuring instruments for the vending machine status? And what is the optimal time interval in between telemetry data transmissions? So, these SOPs determine the parametric uh, capabilities or the parameters of the system itself. It, helps us, it, help, it will help us identify if the uh, system functions as it should and if there are any uh, tolerances that should be in mind. So this essentially will dictate if the machine is reliable or robust enough. For the significance of the study, so uh, for the community, this study aims to make use of technology and innovation through thorough testing and design of a machine that may help alleviate problems in the community. And for the engineering research and development, the designs and tests in this study may prove beneficial to engineering aspects, specifically in uh, computer engineering and similar fields, especially with the parametric and calibration data that will arise from this study. Scope and limitations. Uh, in the course of the study, it will be focusing more into the engineering aspects of the technologies that are going to be implemented in this study. Observations and recording of technical details will be one of the major goals as well as the optimizations and analysis in hopes of further improving the reliability of the technologies involved. So this study focuses only on the design and fabrication of this machine. Tests will not be done with actual customers in order to get reliable first-hand data of its capabilities. For the review of related literature and studies, so plastics, just like what I've mentioned, are very useful, but the management will cause is the problem. The management is the problem. So other countries have dealt with plastic management and has sort of alleviated this, uh, this crisis. But the problematic thing here in the Philippines is that there is prolific use of sachets. And then the vending machines, they offer a solution to help alleviate the patronage of these plastic sachets. So research design and methodology. Sample collection and, st and instrumentations. <coughs> so sensors will be used like voltage sensor, uh, current sensor, ultrasonic sensor, and uh, coin selectors. So for the data gathering procedures, so those sensors that I've mentioned before 
they produce uh, certain data sets that are different from each other. So these data sets will be analyzed differently since they all have different characteristics. So for the data processing and statistical treatment, so descriptive statistics, uh, a one sample t-test will be implemented. This will allow us to compare measured set of values to an actual true value. This will help us understand the machine throughout its operation and determine its tolerances through the deviations within the data. So other data sets will be analyzed through ratios and fa ratios of failure rates as well as approximation calculations, which will be a vital analysis for the machine's optimization. So thank you.